have to hand some hydration. Mm. I've got my water and my sticky willy juice. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that was a thing? Um, and I've also got my flying carpet. So let's go on a magical carpet ride. So I'm going to turn this up a little. So tonight, as we gradually throughout the week edge our way closer towards that new moon energy, the new moon really an opportunity to slow down a bit more and and flow internally and tuning into yourself and also to set any intentions for the coming moon cycle. So edging our way closer towards that energy, let's spread out through our toes, relax and release through your feet and your ankles. Sweep relaxation up through your low legs with a bend through your knees, keep the knees soft and relaxed. Coming up through your upper legs towards your hips. Bring the hips in neutral, tuck them under into neutral. And with that light activation through pelvic floor, low abs, mid abs, upper abs. We're gonna extend some of the way through our rib cage. Bring the shoulders forward and up. Bring them back and down. And with that, allowing the shoulders and the chest to open and the palms to gently fall down by your sides, facing gently up towards the sky. Spine comes into alignment. You bring your chin into alignment there. Crown of the head to the sky. Tailbone sinks down towards the ground. Take a deep breath in here. And as you breathe in, see if you can expand your belly fully with the breath. Don't be afraid to really expand through your belly. Make it as big as you can through there. Expand through your rib cage. Take up a little bit more space in the world. And then from there, we can release fully, releasing and returning the rib cage. Belly returns. See if you can expel any stale, stagnant air or energy leaving space for fresh oxygen, new opportunities, new positivity and energy flow to you and releasing any stale, stagnant energy. Returning that back to the ground to be transformed into something new, just as the leaves gently tumble seasonally to the ground to nourish the soil for the new season's growth. So we can release any stale, stagnant energy, any dust debris from our lungs. Release any negative emotions. And welcoming in through that space that we've then created all of this positivity and that joyous energy that flows to you with ease. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let's begin to dance some of that new positivity and energy. So bring the hip out to the side. You can lengthen through the waist, come back through center, out to the other side through center, slide, through center, slide, center, slide, through center, slide. Bring it all the way through center. We're gonna bring the hip back. Bring it all the way out to the side. Bring it forwards. Other side, bring it out to the side. Bring it back. Out to the side. Bring it forwards. We can traverse that. Bring it out to the side. Bring it back. To the side. 
Bring it forward once more to the side. Back to the side and bring it forward. This time we can make a little bit faster slide. Bring it back to the side. Bring it forward, slide. Bring it back to the side. Bring it forward. One, two, three, four. Carry on. And reverse. our hands by hips you can bring that movement into figure of eight now as you bend through your knee this one is vertical it travels up and down flow all the way through every single part of you now as it travels from your belly, ribcage, shoulder, arm, all the way down to hand to fingertips. And it travels all the way from belly through your hips, down through your legs, to connect down through your feet to the ground. Let's focus now on our awareness of our connection to the ground. Feel yourself held and supported by solid ground. And know that as you exert force on the ground, it exerts force on you. It's that pairing, that connection, that symbiotic relationship. So as we bring our hips all the way round, feel your weight as it comes through the outside of your foot there. It comes back through your heels. It comes through the outside of the other foot the inside of that one and round to the toes it comes through the outside and the inside through your heels all the way around through your toes try the other side really feel yourself pressed down into the ground and feel the ground press upwards into you nice and with that, let's now bring a softening through the knees. Let's just bring a gentle bob through the knees, bend, and a gentle extension. We're not going to fully extend through the knees, but just enough to feel that release. And then we're going to focus on that downwards, gentle, very, very gentle. It's the lowest of low impact but it's enough to really begin to get things flowing through your body if there's any blockages through your system anywhere it's gonna really help to get things moving if you want to you could speed that up a little bit and allow your shoulders to relax oh doesn't that feel good ah relax through your shoulders you can allow your arms to gently sway as you twist lightly through your waist enjoy the simplicity of this present moment how that feels in your body feel that grounding you if you'd been up in busy mind it's such a gorgeous reminder that Staying close to that connection with body can give you such a more rounded, whole, complete view of life. And then gradually returning back into center. And as you return into center, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, tune into your physical stillness, but also that inner stillness, that space of calm that's within us all. And this time an invitation to dance with that sensation of inner calm, tranquility, stillness.
flowing with and flowing through all that is, all that will be, all that was. Coming into center, deep breath here. You can roll camel movement all the way down to your whole body and then reverse that and allow it to bring you all the way up towards the sky. Deep breath in as we roll down and rolling up and roll down. Roll up. Roll down. And roll up. Swing with hands all the way down towards your hips. We can rest our hands on hips this time and find that gentle sway. That feels good for you right here, right now. Feels amazing. <laughs> Into the center, bring your hands all the way up. Press your heels and the balls of your feet into the ground. Reach up with your fingertips, lengthen through spine, back, waist, belly, tailbone to the ground, crown of the head to the sky. And then we're gonna lower our shoulder blades all the way down, lower your shoulder blades down, return the hands all the way around. Nice chest open sensation, hands coming down. Taking a wider stance here, bring one hand in and one hand to heart space and enjoy that sensation of connection between the two as you sway this time so we're taking hands from hips now we have hands in heart space in that life force energy space just below your belly button feel the connection between the two notice perhaps as each begin to open and expand <sighs> with a breath. Nice. And in your own time, coming into stillness, coming into center, we're going to take our hands, bring one hand all the way around from heart space, and bring it all the way around framing your face and then we're going to come across lengthen through our waist keep this nice and open chest feel deep breath here as you breathe out we're going to come back through center we're going to reverse the arms to the other side coming all the way over bring your hand back Nice, deep breath in, into center. You enjoy a gorgeous shoulder roll all the way around. And then we're gonna roll through one, then the other. We can circle through the arms at the same time. Just gorgeous opening and releasing for your shoulders, your neck, upper back. And then we're going to reverse that, bring the shoulders all the way forwards. Nice. Finish that with one big roll back. Hands come up towards the sky. Raising hands up overhead. invitation to help yourself to a little spot of hydration and then when we come back from hydration feeling fully topped up we're gonna descend 
gently down towards the mat. So I'm going to take a big wide step across my mat to come down onto one knee and extend out the other leg behind us. Let me just double check that we're how we want to be. And so we're going to bring, so you can have a support if you like, a cushion or maybe have a yoga block or a rolled up blanket or something that you'd like to use. And you can place that in the center of your mat or thereabouts. You can use that or not. We're going to bring our hands to steady us and stepping right across to the other side, lower yourself down. So you can use your mat lengthways if you like. I'm merely doing it side on just to demonstrate. And from here, you can see in the mirror behind me over my shoulder here, if you need to see from a different angle. So we're gonna bring this foot out in front and you're gonna pick up this lunge position through this front knee. There's about a 90 degree angle through this front knee. And we've brought our hips in neutral Use your pelvic floor muscles to help you do that. Relax through the muscles of the back. The muscles are um, activated and your hips are square on. You're gonna slide forwards into there. Make sure your knee stays behind your toe. And here you're really lengthening deeply through this hip flexor, opening up through the hips, releasing through the thigh as well. Enjoy that sensation if you feel able to and you want to. You can roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath here. On your next deep breath, as you breathe out, we're gonna bring the hips all the way back. You're gonna bring the toes up in towards you and you might want to slide your heel away slightly so that you can level out your hips again and have them facing directly forwards. Here you're going to receive a deep lengthening through the back of your leg and at your hamstring. Now if you feel like a deeper stretch than that, you can raise your hands up, bring your ribcage over the top of that leg. There's also a lovely um, challenge for balance as well. So you can bring that to wherever feels like a good stretch for you. If you feel able to and you want to, you can bring your hands down towards the ground just to help balance you there. What's really, really important is that you're pivoting through your hips and that your back is nice and straight. You shouldn't have excess tension through your back. If you do feel that, you can just gently ease yourself out slightly. We're going to hold this stretch long enough to positively influence our flexibility so that when we come out of the stretch, you will have increased your flexibility. Notice the muscles release and lengthen. Give them permission to release any tension. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to very, very gradually edge our way back upwards, coming out in your own time, returning your hands for balance. Bring your toe back towards the ground to steady yourself. And then you're going to step that foot in towards your mat or onto your support. We're going to come across to the other side. So you're going to step this foot out in front. You might want to step a little bit wider. The hips are in neutral, tuck them under, use pelvic floor muscles to help you do that. You can steady yourself with your hands. You could also use a chair if you wanted um, to use the top of the chair just to help support you there. You could have that at the side of you. And so we're bringing the hips forwards in that neutral position, opening up this deep releasing stretch through the front of the hip and the hip flexor and all the way down through the thigh on that side as well. So most of us have tension through what's known as a psoas group, um, a muscle group which crosses through your entire body actually it crosses through the entire pel pelvic girdle, girdle. Oh, I can't say my words are we are we mercury retrograde 
<laughs> and uh, and so anyway, and so this is a really lovely opening stretch towards releasing psoas. Psoas is also referred to as a muscle of the soul. Um, a tight psoas can, there's connection with tight psoas through the body, um, with things like depression, anxiety. Take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're gonna return the hips, bring them back into center. And here, we're gonna bring the toes up in towards us and you might feel to extend that foot away from you so that you can bring your hips into that neutral position once more. And bring the hands out to help steady you. If you feel to, you could lift your hands up over your head, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you can pivot through your hips some way to bring yourself down over the top of that leg. Take that to where you feel an element of stretch. And the distance that you travel is really not what's important. What's important is that you have nice alignment and that you're not overstretching. You don't want to feel too much pressure or tension through your back here. You want to aim to have the stretch through the back of that leg. And you might feel some resistance from your body. And that can be natural. And take a deep breath in and just allow that release. Reassuring your body. And any element of stretch, it should only feel mild discomfort. Anything beyond that is too deep a stretch and it shouldn't feel sore in any way. Take a deep breath here. And as you breathe out, we're gonna just gently edge our way back out of there, coming upwards into center. Use your hands to steady you, well done. And you can return the toe to the ground and bring yourself all the way back inwards. Deep breath here, hands come up towards the sky. Let's come into a restorative, restful position. Now bring your glutes down to your heels, bring your chest down to your thighs and bring the hands out in front, slide them out in front, releasing and relaxing through there, lengthening out through back. Rest a moment and take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, gently returning into center, coming up one vertebrae at a time through low back, mid back, unwinding through upper back, shoulders, your neck, and your head. Wow, this next one, feel free, you can come straight up, or if you would like to, you can come up with a figure of eight through your hips. This one is both vertical and horizontal, it's strengthening for your thighs, it's also releasing through your hips. You can bring it down. You've tried that one more time with me if it feels right for you. Here we go. Nice, wow. In your own time, finding your way into a comfortable seated position, perhaps cross-legged or similar, whatever works for you. Feel your hips high up. Feel yourself resting on the hips with this open chest feel, expansive. Ah, you're engaged through your pelvic floor, you're engaged through the muscles of belly. Able to release and relax through your legs. Deep breath here. And as you breathe out, sinking shoulders deeper down into relaxation. Alignment through the full length of spine. We can bring our feet out in front, create that diamond shape with our legs. Bring the soles of your feet together, 
let them have a kiss and cuddle of Toto's and then, <laughs> and then we can release through the inner thigh and releasing and opening through our hips at the same time. You can imagine your feet as ripe fruit that we're gonna peel open. Imagine peeling open an orange. And with that, if you feel able to and you want to, you can apply some gentle pressure to the inside of your legs using your elbow and your forearm to bring the knees closer to the ground now if you're going in for that movement you're going to feel this pivoting sensation through your hips as you have a nice straight flat back see if you can bring your rib cage over the top of your toes up and out beyond nice straight back pivoting through hips feel that opening position there relax through your back use your abs your pelvic floor muscles are switched on and you've got alignment all the way through the spine all the way to the crown of the head as you take a deep breath in on your next breath out see if you can find another little pocket of space open up for you as you Bring your rib cage up and over even further and perhaps the knees come closer to the ground. Deep breath here. And as we breathe out, let's gently release any tension and pressure through the arms and unwinding through the spine back to the seated position and from here we're going to bring both legs in together extend them away in front of us and here what we're going to do is pick up one knee and we're gently going to stretch it over the top so you can either keep your foot on the same side and bring your knee over the top of this other leg or you can step your foot right over here and bring the knee out to the side. So using your hands. So what we did there is releasing and lengthening through the outer thigh. Let me angle a little more so you can see what I'm doing here. And we're up straight through our back, nice and straight, up high on hip bones. And you're just bringing this knee over the top towards the other side lengthening through here and then release that ah. and on the other side so we're going to return this leg on the other side we're going to pick the knee upwards you can keep it on this side and just bring the knee over or you can step this foot all the way over to the other side here bring your hands to the outside as you sit up high nice straight back again try bring your rib cage up and over the top of that knee so we're going to bring this all the way out so we're opening up through the other side of our thigh it's a release for your glutes there as well it's also gently strengthening for your upper body all things working in tandem as one thing releases another thing strengthens relax through the muscles of your legs deep breath in as you breathe out, gently release that. Bring that foot out to meet the other one, still sitting up nice and high. You can bring both knees upwards, use your pelvic floor muscles and your abs to help you to do that. And then you can give yourself that gorgeous hug of self-care and gently rock side to side or round in a circle, releasing the glutes even further. And then coming in to center. If you have a blanket or something you'd like to cover yourself with, we can come back to that cross-legged position. Making yourself that little comfortable nest to enjoy a moment's stillness, sinking down deep. Take 
take a deep breath in. Feel the belly expand with the breath. Rib cage expands, collarbones gently lift. Hold that nourishment, suspend the breath, feel it be absorbed by every single cell. And as you breathe out, collarbones descend, rib cage descends, belly returns. In your own time, breathing in nourishment, more positivity, more power to you, more opportunity joyfulness and as you breathe out breathing out any residue of tension feel the muscles descend feel them warmed released soothed there's a sensation of relaxation and calm sweeps throughout your entire being. You can contract the muscles of feet, ankles and low legs. Squeeze through those muscles and then release them. Feel those muscles sink deeper and deeper into rest. Relaxation sweeps upwards through knees into upper legs. We can contract the muscles of upper legs, our hips, our glutes. Squeeze through those muscles and then release them. Feel yourself sink deeper down into comfort. Realigning with everything that is. Resting into your hips. your own inner stillness, tranquility. Relax. As relaxation sweeps upwards through back, waist, belly and chest. And contract the muscles of back, waist, belly and chest. Squeeze through those muscles and then release them. Sinking down deeper and deeper to purity, cleanse soothing every single part of your soul with the simplicity of this present moment. Relaxation sweeps through shoulders, down through your arms, to your wrists, your hands and your fingertips. You can contract the muscles of shoulders, your upper arms, forearms, wrists, hands, form a fist clench, squeeze through, even to your fingers and your fingertips, squeeze through those muscles. Feel the strength within those muscles and know that you are stronger than you realize. Let that strength be taken deep down within and allow that to be an invitation to soften. 
Feel the shoulders descend deeper down into comfort. Upper arms relax. Forearms heavy with relaxation. Wrists sinking down. Hands, even your fingertips relaxing. Relax each of the fingers of your right hand. Relax each of the fingers of your left hand. Take a deep, nourishing breath in. As you breathe out, muscles of shoulders and neck release with warmth, soothing, gravity releases those shoulders and neck even more than before. Relaxation sweeps with a tingle round onto scalp and round onto face. Contracting through the muscles of face into the center of your face, squeeze out into your nose, all of those muscles, and then release them. Forehead smooth and relaxes. Eyes resting with ease. And the size of nose relaxes as your airways and sinuses begin to clear. Relax your jaw. Relax your mouth. Your tongue. Relax your throat. Relax your ears. Relax your brain. Relax. Enjoy another few deep breaths here. Recalibrating every single part of you. Replenishing. Rejuvenating. Revitalizing. Your next deep breath in as we breathe out, we can begin to move into that joyful new way of being, bringing small circles to toes, feet, ankles, your low legs, your knees, upper legs, bringing joy to hips, in small circles, perhaps making those circles bigger with each one. Through your back, waist and belly, bringing circles. Through to your ribcage and your shoulders, circling round through shoulders and your upper arms. <laughs> and your elbows, all that joyful dancing movement through elbows and your forearms and your wrists through your hands. Whee! 
through fingers, bring your fingers into small circles on your head, your neck. And your tongue and your eyes you can circle around through your eyes and if your eyes were closed as you bring your body back into center you could gently begin to blink open your eyes and returning in to the space gradually awakening with more vibrancy, notice the colors, they might feel brighter. You might notice the contrast between light and dark more. Being aware of texture, your sense of smell heightened. Enjoy using each of your senses in a deeper way, feeling filled with joyful energy, feeling restored, replenished and nurtured. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, enjoy simply being. And thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Let me turn this down. Wow. <laughs> Take your time as you come back in to this dimension. <laughs>